Hey guys, so what's going on? I just have another video here I wanted to share with you guys on how to import videos and pictures from the iPhone to a Windows PC. And real quickly, I will show you, I am running Windows 8.1 Pro here, 16 gigs of RAM, 64-bit operating system. So one thing I, you know, got some emails on from my subscribers and a bunch of comments on was down here under devices and drives where it says Jamie's iPhone. If I click that, you can see the internal storage. And then of course my DCIM folder and I can go right in and see all my pictures and my videos. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of that real quick because my viewers were saying this does not show up underneath devices and drives. Okay, so if you go to your computer icon, you guys might have Windows 7 or a different operating system, but on your desktop you should have an icon uh, that says my computer or computer or of course mine says this PC. So you want to right click on that and go to properties. Over here, you basically you want to get to your device manager. So you can see here at the top says device manager. And if you come down through your device manager, uh, you may not see this if you're trying to connect your phone and it's not connecting. But if I right click on that and uninstall it and I go back over here, you can see now it's gone. So there is no, you know, iPhone there for me to click on. So that may be one issue you're experiencing after you plug in your device. It may not be in the device manager. Now, since mine I know is already installed, I'm going to simply scan for hardware changes here and it'll pop back up but if you see like a yellow triangle here in the device manager that may be one of your issues and what you need to do is right click on that and click update driver software and then you want to search for driver software so you have to have you know your uh, device drivers installed here in order for your iphone to pop back up here under devices and drives that's the first thing i wanted to kind of clear up with you guys you know, you may have to reboot your computer. You may have to actually take your iPhone here and unplug it and plug it back in and get it to retrust the computer. You know, you might have to kind of play around with it there a little bit to get it to pop back up here, but that should come from the device manager. Now, in order to, let's say we want to copy photos and videos off this iPhone. And now I did another video and I showed the manual way to do it, which is to go in under devices and drives and actually go in there like I showed you. And you can actually select all these and drag them over to, like I created a folder called new folder here. If I open that up, you know, I can just grab one of these pictures and drag it over and dump it in that folder. And that makes, you know, that copies it from here over. That still leaves a copy on the iPhone. The other way to do this is go under your devices and drives and scroll down here if you right click on your iphone where it pops up here under portable devices you can see it says import pictures and videos just select that and it's going to come up and say it found none because i know that like on my phone right now that there are pictures and videos so there's a little trick to this and i'm going to show you guys right now how to get that to reappear you know to see all your videos again so what you want to do is go into your user account, like into your documents. You want to open up this window and where it says view, mine says view because I'm on Windows 8, but you guys want to go and what you want to find is your folder options. So you want to get to this box. Again, if you guys are under a different operating system, you're going to have different selections over here in order to find the folder options. But once you get the folder options, what you want to do is there's a center tab here, click view. And yours is probably going to be selected for don't show hidden files and folders. What you want to do is select show hidden files and folders and click apply. Okay, you want to, and what that does is it, it lets, like, while you're in your user account here, you see this one here that says app data. Normally, if I go back into view and go to options and view and I click don't show and I apply that, you can see now that app data one's gone over here. So if I select it again and apply it, you can see app data pops up. So that's what you want to do is you want to show hidden hidden folders and files. And then under app data, what you want to do is go into the folder that says local. And you want to scroll down to where it says Microsoft. And right here it says photo acquisition. If yours says that, you want to go in here and delete this file. What happens is it will rebuild itself once we import photos and pictures again. So now if I go back over to my PC and I right click on the phone and click import, 
pictures and videos, you can see 95 new pictures and videos were found. And what that is basically there for is once you do import your stuff this way, um, the, it recognizes that and it doesn't want to re-import, you know, or make copies. So it kind of like creates that file. So if you take the iPhone and you take new pictures since the time, you know, that you import, it will recognize those pictures. But, you know, I like to start fresh and just get them all off there again. So that's that's how you can get this to show up if you're having issues there. And of course, um, you can, you know, go in here. If I click back, more options, my import settings, I just browse to that new folder, which is right here on my desktop. So I just select that and click OK. And now um, you also have the option here of deleting files from your device while you're importing them, rotating them, and just different options there of things you can do. So if I click Next, and there's actually more options here. Yep, same, same options there, but... If I click import, guys, it's going to import all my stuff over here too. It'll create a new folder inside my new folder here. And you know, once that's done, I'll show you. So there's all my, you know, photos and stuff that just came off the phone. Now, if I right click on that again and click import pictures and videos, you can see it says zero new pictures and videos found. And we'll, again, go back into that folder once you unhide your folders in the photo acquisition and delete that file. So if I go real quick, we'll go back in there, take a look at it, go to local, go to Microsoft, photo acquisition, there it is. It rebuilds itself. So all you got to do is delete it and rebuild it. So the other thing um, we can do here, guys, is if you're opening up iTunes and you're having some issues with, say, iTunes, like recognizing your device. Let me just let it finish backing up there. Right there's my iPhone, and it might, you know it shows up okay and everything on here. If you're having some issues with that, now that you've unchecked that box and you're showing all these hidden folders here, well, basically the app data folder, you can go in there, you can go to local, and then Apple Computer and iTunes, and you can delete these files. And close out of that. And now if I open up iTunes, you'll see I'll get the welcome screen. And that basically, again, all you got to do is, like, this may actually help you guys if iTunes is not recognizing your iPhone. I can't be 100% certain of that because everybody's situation is different. But it brings you back to the welcome screen. It basically rebuilds those files. So that is one way, guys, that you can import your photos to from your iPhone over to a Windows computer and again as long as everything's going okay for you guys if you go under um, this PC here and go back to the iPhone you can go in it manually this way into the DCIM folder and what you should be able to do you know to do this manually and I already have a video that I uploaded showing how to do this but you can if you click over here on this side you can hit control a and that selects them all and then you can basically just hold down your mouse left click and drag them over and drop them onto your computer and basically you can then go and delete them out of your phone and then you'll have a ton more storage left guys to actually you know do new videos and take new pictures so now that that's all done, if I click over here in this folder and, and press Control A, I can select all of them and delete all my stuff. And that's deleting everything off of the iPhone. So if I click back to see the internal storage, it should have went down some. Once it refreshes itself, and it did. So... That's basically all I have for you guys. Um, I may do another video later showing how to copy photos over back over to the iPhone. And as long as basically you probably can copy these folder. I mean, if you can't, I'll have to. What I got to do is go through and do a video, show everybody how to do that. That'll be something separate that I do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helps some of you out. Of course, you got to show hidden folders and files, go in there, and there are some things in the background running. But if you go through and try all that stuff, guys, 
you know, you might have to restart your computer, you may have to unplug your device, but that may help some of you out. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video, please share it. Please give thumbs up and I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks.